What's up, y'all? This Ag Lizzie and this Bob Sun TV. And today, this is the Tony T story. If y'all know who Tony T is, Tony T is like, he nobody. He's just a random guy. He played for a go-go band. He had like go-go fame. He was like DC famous with go-go band as far as go-go. He's like a go-go person here. So everybody knew him at this time. This is back in the day. I'm young. I'm younger. I'm probably like 15 years old at the time. He older than me. He like an old head. He been outside, like he been outside. He been in the neighborhood. He ain't known for no gangsters. He known for like having this little weed, popping this little. He ain't known for nothing major, nothing at all. He just be in the neighborhood. He not even really from the guys. He from 15th Street. I'm gonna give y'all a story. He from 15th Street. I'm from 14th Street, and the guys on 13th Street. So. We all migrated to the gods and all claimed this one hood after a while, but we all from certain people from down the street. He from down the street, he from by the liquor store. So I braced his little brother. His little brother was trying to buy a gun one day. His little brother named Kenny. His little brother was trying to buy a gun one day, and I told him I had a 380. He came in the building, I braced him. He heard that I braced his brother. I seen him some days later, and he said something about it. I braced him. I braced him like right there, like on point, boom. So I've been seeing him numerous of times after that. Like, I ain't care, this Tony T. No, he ain't no, no violence. Like, he's a peaceful man. Like, I'm on that time at that time. I ain't thinking about what he can do, nothing. He ain't never did nothing in his life. Like, he ain't that type of guy. He tried to stay out of trouble. I don't even know why he was talking to me like that. So let's get back to the story. So. Later on, this years later, that was years, that was years, that was years ago. This years later, transformed to years later. So we outside one day, we in the gods, we chilling. Tony T got the weed and we trying to buy some weed. We don't really got no money. We probably got like 15, but Tony T, the pettiest hustler in the world. Like he ain't there, you go for a dollar. You can't owe him nothing. He, he pop like he just a brag artist, like he just feel like he bigger than the world, like he joan on you, just make you feel like he make a word, he make up his own little words, and they just trend, and he just use them against you to make you the bed, like he just a vicious, that type of guy, like stingy, don't do nothing for the hood, if he got a thousand dollars, he ain't buying you nothing to eat, nothing, you literally gotta rob him, and he don't go high, he just petty, he just more older than everybody, and he popular, and people, he's got like, people be on his he in the go-go bands and he got to be around all that, the glitz and the glam, but he a sucker though. We know that in the hood, the outside world don't know that because nothing don't happen to him. The outside world, he just run off the glitz and glam, but in the hood, we, mm, it is what it is, vulture seats. So we outside one day, we don't got a weed. We got like 10 hours, we deep, like probably like seven of us. We young niggas though, we don't got no money. We like, yeah, Tony T, uh, you trying to let us get some weed? He's like, man, yeah, how much y'all got? We like, man, we got such and such. He's like, nah, I ain't getting y'all nothing for that. Y'all got to get $20, y'all. I'm like, damn, for me? He like, nah, I ain't. For real, I got, it, man, I got, it, man, something, something, something. I'm like, all right, cool. He already felt the vibe, so he stepped off. He went in the building. Because he already know. I bagged him back in the day. He know what we be on. Like, he felt the vibe. Now he got in this spot. He's gone to his spot. He's trying to play his spot now. Because he be in a spot. He don't really be outside. He can't really be outside. I don't even know why he did this. So, told him, so it was cool. So he told us, she told us no. No, matter of fact, he told us go get two more dollars. Matter of fact, that's what he told us. He said, man, go get two more dollars. So we couldn't even be mad at him. He said, go get two more dollars. So we was going to get two more dollars. So it was, but we never got the two dollars or nothing. We never even thought about it. We went to somebody else who got the weed for the money we had. But as we sitting outside, uh, the stick up boys, not the stick up boys, but niggas who, who be bracing niggas, the stick up boys, like niggas who be robbing niggas in the neighborhood pull up. But it's like our man, it's like, uh, cuz and uh, dude, cuz and duty pull up. They like, I ain't say they're stick up boys, but. You know what I'm saying? They be uh, doing what they doing. Like, they know for doing what they doing. Long live duty, duty, pass away. Long live duty. And, and free cuz, but they do what they do. They be on They the neighborhood guys that be on They be on out here in the world, so. They walk up like, man, eh, where the weed at, y'all? Where the weed at? We like, We ain't got no weed right here, bro. We trying to get some. Uh, then we thought about it. I thought about it. I said, I ain't even gonna tell y'all. Y'all don't crazy about it. Now that I think about the Tony T story, I swung on the play. I ain't even know I swung on the play. Like, I knew, but I didn't know. Because, like, think about it. It's like, who got the weed? I'm Tony She got the weed. He up there in this spot, up there to the left. All you got to do is knock on the door. So they must have went up there, and he must have been there some petty to them. Because all I could do is see them go up there. 
But I know what they on. I know what type of time they on. Once I send them to Tony T, it's because he just denied us. It's like, okay, I'm about to send them to Tony T. I know they're going to bag him. I'm 100% sure they're going to bag him because he's going to say something stupid. Because they always on that. Like, they, they try, if the week or 10 hours, they try to use four. He ain't going for that. He just did that. So we, I really want to see if he's going to do this to them. He must have did it to them, too. Because oh, it's like the guy in building windows are see-through. You can see all the way to the third floor. As I'm looking through the glass, I can see him, like, scuffling. Like, I see them two, and I see him, and I'm like, ooh, and it's a whole rock. Boom, 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 you hit the glass. They had a knife. They didn't have no gun. They did this with a knife. They whipped the knife out on him. I told him, get that shit up. He tried to wrestle, so they started wrestling. They started poking him his arm and shit. Long story short, they wrestled him, got his bag out of everything, ripped his shirt up, and he was all beat up for a little bit. So he stumbled down the steps, and they came out the building and walked past, and they walked off and went to the subway station. Tony T came out like three minutes later, like he got himself together, bloody woo-woo. He must have went to the corner, called the police, and the police met him at the subway station. Long story short, he gave him description, all that. Ooh, they must have went back and wound the cameras in the neighborhood. And they seen who it was. It was a worn out for him. They got locked up. They went to jail. I watched them rob him, go to jail. They got like three years. One probably got like five, something like that in the midst of that. I watched them come home from jail with the jail bags back to the neighborhood. Tony, she left the neighborhood after that. That was his last day in the neighborhood. The neighborhood never seen him again, like ever. I don't even know where he at now. If Tony T out here in the DMV hanging this way, he was on the DMV hot page like 10 years ago, but he told in 2000, damn near nine. So, like, he feel like he ain't hot. That was so long ago. Like, paperwork probably ain't out, but it was on the DMV hot page. It was somewhere like, oh, you got to do a search your name. But he know he hot. I know he hot. The whole guys know he hot. That's the reason he left the guys, y'all, because he hot. He told on some niggas. Like, he testified. Like, I know the two niggas he told on. He know the two niggas he told on the whole hood. I know he told on. I ain't seen Tony T since then. Tony T gets on. Instagram and say something about me, like some Aunt Glizzy clout chasing or something. Like, ain't nobody clout chasing, bro. You had, if you had, you had the whole DMV know you had. You was on DMV high people page. Like, stop acting like that. Like, you know, you told on them boys. Like, watch you take the stand and all that. You know what you did. But he played the Congos. They said he played, he played the Congos. He rocked the mic too. <laughs> Tony T. So we're going to call him Ratatouille. Yes, that's enough. Damn, what Tony T do? He got my man five years and my other man three. I know his paperwork. So what's his real Tony? Man, I'm a man. His, somebody got his paperwork, bro. I seen this nigga paperwork 17 times. I just wasn't on that when I seen it. This nigga been hot for seven years. Hot. This nigga Tony, this what Tony T told somebody, y'all. Tony T said, man, I seen that fall. Shorty living like a something, something. He said, homes on some real paid government informant. He said, I'm on some paid government informant. And this nigga is real live hot. The whole neighborhood know he hot. The whole guys know he hot, y'all. It's not one person in the guys that don't know he ain't hot. I swear to God, like, don't you know how that you got some of the neighborhood be like a nigga hot? And some niggas be like, nah, I don't know. I ain't seen nothing. The whole neighborhood know he hot. It ain't gonna be one nigga in the guys that say Tony T ain't hot. I don't know what age you ask him. You can ask him from three years old to 90. It ain't gonna be one person. It ain't gonna be a mother, a aunt, nobody. The whole guys know Tony T hot. He snitched in the guys. The whole. Guys, no, he ain't been back since. He ain't been to guys in 10 years. How from the guys and they been to guys in 10 years? Like, damn, bro. At least, I'm talking about not even been back. Like, had some connections. Like, you don't even got no connections to the guys. You don't even know. No, it's no, it's Tony T could call one person in the guys right now. Now, one person. I'm talking about he got niggas time. He took the stand, pointed them out. Like, made a police report. But it's a police report. But I know his paperwork out here somewhere. Somebody send it to me. Please, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Though. I'm going to make it my duty to find this paperwork. Like, if I ain't never did nothing, I'm going to get this. Anybody know Tony T real name? But the person he told on, I know I get the paperwork for real. I just want to go another way. The person he told on, I can get in contact with the person he told on. Nah, they call, they call Tony Toad. They said Tony Toad. And that's another thing. Tony T is from 15th Street. Tony T not really from the Gaza. I'm from 14th Street. Tony T from 15th Street. His mother used to work at the liquor store. Tony T live on 15th Street in that side little street to the store. Man, he got I'm in the side street by the store, by 15th Street store, bro. I know your little brother Kenny, bro. I done braced his like five times. Ask him. When we was young, I robbed Tony T little brother like five times. This was juvenile. I can talk about it. This was kid. 
It was 16. This don't even count. It's like fake robbers. I don't, I, and I did it with a BB gun. I robbed his little brother like nine times. Get Tony T on here. Tell us he ain't high, y'all. Get him on here. Matter of fact, let's get him on here. Somebody go get Tony T. Get him on here. Get Kenny up here. Why you mad at everybody? Let me tell you why. This was Tony, somebody just DM me that this Tony T in the white. It just ain't. It just don't show his profile picture because of the jump big. Tony T just told somebody, man, I seen that fall. Holmes on some real paid informant. He told somebody that somebody DM me this. Tony T is telling somebody I'm a paid informant. A paid informant, bro. If I was a paid informant, the whole city would be in jail. You. Ain't nobody telling all you niggas. I don't know nothing. But I know you told. I know that. We gonna find that nigga paperwork. Somebody find him. Man, cause you was a smack Tony T out and all that, bro. Like real live, press him. <coughs> Tony T might be one of the softest niggas in the world. My mother, he had. She ask the gods, y'all. Listen to me, y'all. The gods is not gonna lie for me. Ask him. Uh -huh. I'm looking more. All right, look, get inside, man. His name Tony. Son, what's Tony T? Real name? It say check DM. Everybody saw that paperwork years ago. I know. That's why we gotta get it back. Put it back on here. Like I know the niggas he told on, Bruh, I watched him get robbed. I watched him go get the police. Tell him. I watched the niggas go to jail in the handcuffs. I watched the niggas go to court. Him testify on the niggas in court. I watched the niggas come home from jail with the big bags five years later with no shoe screens. Like, damn, Tony T did y'all like that? They say, ain't undefeated. Bro, this nigga is from my neighborhood. He got ran out the neighborhood for being hot. The whole neighborhood know he hot, though. Everybody. If it's 1,000 people in the neighborhood, all 1,000 people know Tony T hot. I swear to God. He gonna tell the he gonna look though he so hot I wouldn't even did this somebody just sent me a DM I'm like what they like Tony T always saying you're a government informant I said Tony T said I'm a government informant Tony T hot <laughs> Tony T used to play Cowboy for TCB Tony T played the stand for the government I say so you just saying with the whole DMV you can't have a girl. You be on the internet too much. You just be messing. I don't got no girl. I don't got no nothing. I don't give a about none of that, bro. I make $20,000 a month. I don't got going on. It's just me in this chair and this bag. Ratty T, man. That's Ratty T, man. So if anybody see him out here, man, he's sweet as a bird, though. He's free lick. If you see him, <laughs> free lick, man. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Bye, what's up?